Ladies and gentlemen, this is David T from uh, Field Sports Scotland. Now, I did put a couple of tutorials up over the weekend, um, at the beginning of the week, sorry, in regards to the bolt and how to fix uh, ejection issues. I had a couple of people come back to me asking a more detailed, um, asking for me to describe in more detail how to take a 22L RCZ452 or 455 bolt apart. Now, it is very, very simple. You don't need much tools or anything. All you need is a couple of spent casings, two two ones, and a little precision screwdriver. The precision screw, the only tool that really you need is these. And the reason why you need that is so you can take this retainer clip. That little retainer clip just pops off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate this bolt and I'm going to take it all apart and then I'm going to show you how to put it back together again. So it only takes a few seconds. First of all, you have to release the firing pin. So to do that, take grip off the bolt in your hand and just push the handle down. That, in return, will release the firing pin. So again, it's just take a grip of the bolt and secure it down. Very simple. Now, I suggest get a couple of these because this bit's a wee bit tricky. It's not, it's just a pain in the ass because you've got to put a bit of pressure on it and if you don't get it right first time it becomes a pain. So, take your little shell and at this bit here, in the centre, that is where you push in, that's your spring. So you stick it in the middle of that, get grip hard, push down, so you're pushing down hard and your safety catch will slide out just like that. As you do that, you lift up, as you see, and that is more or less everything released. You take this retainer out, put it to the side, then you take the firing pin out, Inside is a spring. There's a firing pin. And then you take the bolt handle off. Always remember how to put that back uh, put it back on. So you take it off in sequence and give it a clean. Put it all aside. So that pretty much is the components. Now to do the last bit is a little bit awkward, but it's not too bad. Just need a thin position screwdriver to get in behind this retainer clip. It usually just pops off. It is quite tight. If you can get in behind it, it will. So you just kind of a little bit of force. There we go. And the retainer clip comes off. And It's a little bit awkward, but once you can get underneath it, it's uh, generally usually okay. There you go. There we go. And so you've got your retainer clip, 
And to take these ejection bits out, it's very, very simple. All you do is get your little screwdriver and kind of just peel them out. They're not attached or screwed in or anything. Um, there you go. Comes out. And then stick screwdriver out. Get number two. So there we go. There we have it. That is full disassembly off the bolt. To put it back together again, you just repeat the process. So first of all, you remember what side you've taken these off at. I always do that. Now you can get you can get these little spare parts here. Sometimes they wear away, and that's what causes ejection issues. These little teeth will wear away a little bit. You can get these spare um, spare parts. I think from Rimfire Magic or from CZ themselves. Um, you don't need a variation or anything to get these spare parts. But they are worth replacing. They're only a few pounds. I haven't replaced them yet because I, I usually take them apart and get them clean. Stick it back in. You just put them back in like the same way you had them out. They do pick up a lot of dirt and grime. You stick the retainer on. Make sure it covers. So it's on that side there, so I need to flip it over so you get your little screwdriver. And you basically, as I said, this is a fiddly, annoying fiddly bit. Pretty much there. You don't need to do this very often, so it's pretty hot. There we go. Clips back in. So that's the retainer. That's your now. Then I'll. I suggest get a little bit of kind of lubricant, oil all these up, you can do, just stick some 3-in-1 oil on your finger and you can actually lubricate all this, it's quite good. You stick it, that back in there. In fact, no you don't, you stick the bolt handle back on first. Then you stick that back in there. It can only go in one way anyway, so don't panic too much. Stick the spring back in. Your retainer, make sure the hole's up because that's obviously where your pin goes. Take your little cartridge, stick it on the end. It's hard to show you this on the video, but you basically put it on down. And if it's all lined up, you should be able to just slide it in. It's a little bit tight. We've got to make sure it's all lined up first. It's obviously not lined up properly enough. Make sure I've got it lined. It's a little difficult when you're trying to do it with the while looking at a camera at the same time. Oh, that's right, that's, there we go. Turning it. There we go. 
got it in. A little bit of hoo-ha. <laughs> a little bit of hoo-ha. Sometimes you won't get it in fully. So all you do there when you do that, sometimes it'll stay loose like that, is stick it back in. Onto the spring like you had before. Take the pressure off and just push it further in so it's nice and flush. As you see, and release the bolt. And you have your bolt. It says it looks a little bit more difficult than what it really is. Once you've done it a few times, you get used to it. Um, it's a little bit hard trying to look at a, a monitor while doing it. But it is only a few, min few minutes work. I tend to take my bolts off from a 2-2 and clean maybe once a month and get rid of all the grit and the grime. I actually clean my bolt more than I ever clean my barrel. So there you go. CZ455 and 452 disassembly and reassembly including the ejection springs. Thank you for watching Field Sports Scotland. Please subscribe down to the right hand side for a chance to be put into the prize draw for a uh, um, one night's bed and breakfast and a, a stock with me up here in Inverness and uh, catch you again next time. Thanks very much.